architect number one. He hears strange news of ships lost to the monsters of the sea. Ever so straight to use reasons, he insists that there are no monsters even when the nights are dark and the days are murky gray. The ruler of Egypt, Ptolemy I, then asks, what can be done to guide all sailors safely along the way? His answer is to build the biggest and tallest lighthouse so sailors can reach the port safely, easily and merrily. Architects are builders. Can you guess who this one is from the ancient welders? Introducing Sostratus. He is the builder of Pharos, or Lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Architect number two. Masalis, the ruler of Caria in ancient Greece, dies. His widow, Artemisia, declares that she wants the biggest resting place for her husband on earth to rise. So he and Pythias and Citros designed the most stately building for Masalis' spirit to roam. Then they go to build the grandest tomb, which you may call Mycelium, to remember Masala's resting home. Pythias assisted this architect in building Masala's tomb. From the clue, can you guess who he is to complete the tomb? Introducing Satyrus, he and Pythias built the mausoleum of Halicarnassus in Caria, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Architect number three. King Croesus of Lydia orders him to build the most magnificent temple. To Artemis, the goddess of hunting, a cabin is simply not possible. So after eating cherries from his farm, he begins to scribble a temple sketch as his son, Metagenes, suggests to use marble. He and his son, Metagenes, then proceed to build the grandest temple which so impressed and Metagenes helped his architect Dan to build the Temple of Artemis. From the clue, 